In this new year, Donna Art and Consulting endeavors to present the Hidden Tracks Contemporary Ink and Sculpture Art Show, inviting artists from three different decades, Shaw Chun Chen, born in 1954, Yuan Wei Li, born in 1963, and Bayou, born in 1980. In addition to the difference in generation, they are also contemporary Taiwanese artists using different media in their works. With rocks, which have existed in nature longer than human, as objects, they display different landscapes while collected from different tracks. Few years, Yuan Wei Li has been developing his ambiguous world series. At a glance, the works seem to have used a familiar landscape form. In fact, she has been working ceaselessly to break through the cliché, layout, brush strokes, and the choice of color at Chinese landscape painting consciously. She even deconstructs the structure of mountains and rocks, transforming them into a mirror that reflects the surge of emotions from heart. At times, they reflect vivid colors. At other times, they communicate tranquil and profound scenes. Once she said, in my paintings, rocks are objects as well as non-objects. It is not only the best representation of her but also extends the cultural conditions of the island which you and I inhabit. Regardless of the media used, Shu Chan Chen always follows the law of nature. At his best, he uses simple form to allow light to penetrate and harmonize with the spatial atmosphere. From the works exhibited, be it wood sculptures carved from logs or molded copper sculptures, we can see the easy and lyrical lines carved. From time to time, we also see geometric abstract forms, situated together or standing alone in a spatial layout made up of the actual and virtual. They are laden with his interpretations and understanding of landscapes. Viewers can also feel the sublime realms in his works easily. Among the three of them, the youngest, Bayou, who no longer worships magnificent and gigantic landscapes. He even questions the traditional dialectics in order to clarify the knowing of this small and yet huge world, gradually. Among the displayed works, we can see him grasp rocks as the objects easily. Sometimes, he watches them at a distance. At other times, he gazes at them at point-blank distance. From perspectives with great differences, he can manage to draw slowly in great detail consistently. He allows huge rocks that have been eroded by time and weather to stand in the middle of the paintings. Sometimes, they seem to be pavilions in fairy mountains in myths. At other times, they are like lonely islands standing in the middle of the sea. With no exception, they unveil calm, slow, and restrained emotions, 